Hey guys, before we get to the video today, Cassie, our security guard here at Griffin Air, says please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air, serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And I want to do a quick video, kind of going through, this is a my second video in a series that we're going to call brand overviews, if you want to call it that. I already did a video on the Ingersoll Rand uh, lineup, train, America Standard, all that good stuff. And so next in line, I'm going to do uh, one on the carrier lineup and kind of an overview if you're comparing two different uh, companies. One's trying to sell you, say, a carrier, and the other one's trying to sell you, say, a Bryant, uh, which is a carrier brand, you know, what what are we talking about here? You know, so uh, hopefully I can simplify it a little bit for you and maybe make you or help you in your decision making. So a couple of things, I'm, I'm gonna break this down and I'm actually, I, I don't know how they break it down, at least if they were to sit down and make a video like this, but in my brain, I'm gonna break it down into two separate uh, entities, if you will. And, and, and I think you'll see why in a second. So just to back up a little bit, Carrier, they've got a long history. Obviously, uh, Willis Carrier was the, uh, you know, the father of today's air conditioning or whatever you want to call it. And so they've, you know, morphed into all these different uh, entities over the years. And uh, recently, United Technologies, the company that actually owned Carrier, according to the internet, says that they actually branched off and Carrier became its own entity. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know if that means, you know, they sold it to someone and now they're their own entity, or maybe they broke it up like that so that they could sell it. I mean, who knows? But real quick, before I get to the two breakdowns, my personal, and again, if you're watching this, you know, you there might be a carrier dealer watching this, for example, and their experience might be a little different. I, I don't know. That's fine. Please feel free to leave a comment and we can chat about it if you want. But my my feeling with carrier is they're not real niche you know? And what I mean by that is there's there's brands out there, there's heating and air brands out there that are niche you know they're they they've said this is what we're gonna do we're gonna be the best at this particular niche and that's what we're gonna be you know we're not gonna try to be more than that or different than that and so with carrier i get the the opposite feeling to that and what i mean by that is they offer so much different brands or, or, or products if you will and they put their name on it. And you might say, well, that's that sounds good. Why doesn't everybody do that? Well, here's the thing. They're not really doing it. <laughs> what they're doing, they're not actually making these products. In a lot of cases, I've seen with their ductless systems. I've And I, again, if you're watching this and you're like, well, not anymore. That's not true anymore. I'm just speaking from my personal experience with them. They don't even make or did not make their ductless uh, units during the making of this video. That may have ch may change, that may have changed, I don't know. But for the longest time, they were just a rebranded other product, okay? So, uh, and that's actually changed over the years who the, you know, the, the, the manufacturing company for that. So when you're talking about say, uh, you know, so for example, at Griffin Air, when I sell someone a heating and air system, uh, an extra add-on, an upgrade, if you will, might be a whole house home filter. Some brands don't make whole house home filters, right? So, you, you know, you sell them a heating and air system and it's this brand, and then you sell them, a, say, an April layer whole house home filter to go with that because this brand doesn't make whole house home filters, right? And so with Carrier, I feel like they try to put an umbrella over all of that. So if you need a whole house home filter, they may not even actually make the filters. They're gonna slap their name on whatever product they're selling and then offer that. So 
that has pros and cons. Uh, you know, it's kind of up to you on whether or not you think that makes sense for you. But, you know, that's just something to think about. So they 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 kind of, they're not a niche you know, type of brand. They kind of umbrella all of that. And because of that, uh, just like with, say like cars, I've used this analogy before, with cars, you know, you might have four different manufacturers making hundreds of brands, right? So like GM, they make GMC, but they also make Chevrolet and Hummer and all these other different brands. Well, heating and air is the same way. And Carrier, uh, through the years, they have, they encompass more brands than a lot of their competitors, I would say. And so again, that I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying it because it's true. So according to their website, uh, they encompass all these different brands. And again, I'm going to break it down into two separate uh, entities. The first side in residential that I would say is they they have the carrier, the carrier, Bryant and Payne lines. OK, so that would be one side. And then the other side would be the ICP brands, brands like Arco Air, Comfort Maker, Heil, all those. So if let's just stick with the, the first entity first, if you will. So like if I go to my local carrier supplier, they're gonna sell carrier products, Bryant products, and a lot of times pain products. And to break that down for you, Carry, now this is what we're told. I'm regurgitating what I've been told. You might say, oh, that, you know, that's that's not what I've been told, you know, or whatever. But Carrier and Bryant are equivalent to one another, okay? So you could actually install parts from one or the other and it would fit the same stuff, okay? So if you go to their websites, they are actually identical, maybe different colors, but identical. They both have the same SEER ratings going all the way up over 20 SEER. I think they have an air conditioner that's 24 SEER. And they're, they're equivalent. I mean, they're, they're very similar to one another. And in fact, uh, in talking to my local carrier supplier, in a lot of cases, they'll say, well, hey, you know, we're not going to let you sell carrier brand because you got to work your way up to that. You got to have certain amount of business that you're giving us before we'll even give you that option to sell that brand, right? But we'll let you sell the equivalent, which is Bryant. We'll let you sell Bryant products and let's get you signed up as a Bryant dealer. And you know, so that's been my experience. That's what they've approached me with before. And so again, that's, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just stating the facts. So, uh, so you got Carrie and Bryant, and then you also have Payne, which is their, I would call it their builder grade brand. Payne doesn't make but so high of a sear. I don't even know what that is. Let me go here and look real quick. So yeah, so they only make up to 16 sear for the Payne line. Uh, it looks like uh, pairing it with uh, depending on what you pair it with, you can maybe get up over 17 sear, but for their heat pumps, they just have their two stage 16 sear. So there's nothing over say 20 sear. It's their, their builder grade brand. Now I'm not saying that that makes pain a bad brand. I'm just saying that you, when you're comparing apples to apples, that's what you're looking at. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of times the same technology. In fact, I've even installed pain, uh, equipment, and, you know, ordered the system, ordered the outdoor unit and the air handler coming, come, you know, the air handler has carrier written on the box. So it's, uh, you know, very similar equipment, if not the same equipment. So that is one side. That's the carrier Bryant pain entity, if you will, kind of all in one. They're the equivalent and, and all work together. And then carrier also has encompassed over the years, the ICP brands. And so ICP, you're talking about, let's see, according to their website, I'm just gonna rattle off some of the brands if you're comparing them. AirQuest, Arco Air, Comfort Maker, Day and Night, Heil, Keepright, and Tempstar. And we've actually installed some of the Tempstar units uh, years ago. And so if, if, if we're talking about those two separate entities, 
I don't, I'm not going to say that one's better than the other, but it, it appears that Carrier kind of has made Carrier and Bryant, but Carrier, their premium line, and then ICPs over here kind of capturing all this other market share, but maybe not as high as Sear, for example. So like if you go to one of their websites here, the, uh, the, the highest option for heat pumps for Sear ratings is up to 18 sear. Now, depending on how you pair that, you might get up to 19 sear uh, for your AHRI uh, sear rating. But what's the point in all this? Well, so I would say, so, so when you're comparing the two entities, they're owned by the same parent company, but I don't know that they're necessarily the equivalent. The units don't even look the same. They you, there, there was a time where some of them looked the same or similar, but now, if like if you buy a Tempstar heat pump, it doesn't look like a carrier heat pump. Um, that's a game uh, that my wife and I play sometimes is, you know, we'll go buy a house and I'll be like, what brand is that? You know, because they all have their own look and, you know, just kind of like some people are with cars, you know, that, oh, that looks like a, a 1978 model because the headlights are round or <laughs> whatever. So uh, that's something that we'll do that's kind of goofy. And so the ICP and the carrier entities, they don't, they don't look the same. So if you have somebody that's, say, try, you know, you, you got two contractors and they're trying to sell you, say, a Tempstar and one's trying to sell you a day and night, they're the same. They're a part of that ICP entity. Uh, you know, they're relatively the same products. And if you have someone trying to sell you a carrier and someone trying to sell you a Bryant, they're relatively the, the same products. So I don't know if that helps at all. If you have any comments, put them down and below. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, you got to check out my new website, newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the notes. And this website is... I've actually sat down with some other pros and it what I've done is I've I've put everything that comments or suggestions over the years I I've told customers given them this this advice and they'll say man nobody has ever told me that you know some of the stuff it's not even stuff that HVAC manufacturers want you to know in some cases so I put all kinds of info on there it's a guide it'll guide you through the process of buying a, the third largest investment you're going to make behind your home and car. Uh, a lot of times the heat, your heating and air system is the next largest investment that you're going to make. And we're going to guide you through that. We have how to, uh, you know, do the contract, what should be in there, how to select your contractor, how to select your brand, how to, uh, you know, we even have a page called no-nos on there that you got to check out. So Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks.